leading off the afternoon be really the tough. Cubs. The center fielder, Ian Happ. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. Bonnie uh, takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. That second. Now in the box, Kyle Schwarber. His Schwarber. career numbers in this matchup, he's just two for nine. He's taken him deep once. A ball and no strikes. Schwarber, an Ohio native, he was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Two balls and a strike. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And rarely do you see a player of this caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in knots that time. Two away now. So digging in now, Chris Bryant. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Popped him up. Guzman in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. Let's take a look at catcher Wilson Contreras. This guy has got one of the best arms in the game. Think Gary Sanchez, but in the National League. Nobody wants to attempt stealing bags on this guy and brings a powerful to bat to the lineup. Here it comes stop. now to Andrus. Down the first baseline, Andrew. but a foul ball here, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1 behind 0 and 2 now into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch another one sent foul hey I'm biased to the hitter right now keep frustrating that pitcher foul 12 of these things off he's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point and he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastballs in there and that's out number one stepping in Logan Forsythe his past history against John Lester he's got two hits in 18 at bats seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Now the first pitch here from Lester. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball.
The wind up and the 0 1. And that misses one and one. Lester is a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. The one two. Slap hard the opposite way. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Batting third. Shinsu Chu at the hitter. plate now, looking Shinsu to get on base Chiu. and keep this first inning alive. Oh, and that liner caught him. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So a runner at first with two away. And up to bat Joey. next, the left-handed light tower Gallo. power of Joey Gallo. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. Chu leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Anthony Rizzo for his career in this matchup. He brings a 3.53 batting line. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Santana comes on now, and he has it one down. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there at the letters 0-1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And there to take it in his pence, and that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. Heading out toward shallow right. Pence will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. His past history against John Lester, he's 3 for 15. He also has one home run. No balls and a strike to count. The pitch. And no offer that time from Pence as it evens the count at 1 and 1. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. The one two locks him up for strike three. Stepping into the box, Danny Santana. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Back goes Hayward on the warning track. He makes the catch. Seven. Stepping up to the man. plate, Patrick Wisdom will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Outside, that's ball. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Good action on the sinker, one and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that... Here's Ben Zobris now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading he off the third yeah. after the first six the guys in the lineup have been retired yeah. in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a soft liner. 
throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone now in the that inning, and with that, time for a field. check of the standings in the American League West as you get a look there at where the Rangers stand entering play. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Nick Castellanos now. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. And he takes strike two. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half. Of Digging in, Ronald Guzman. He'll match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning. And Lester back to work as this is swung on and missed for the first strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this that guy enough. very often because he's over in the other Out league and there. it's really showing. He's pitching Drop really he well right now and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Into the box now Jose Trevino. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, number one. So two are gone Good here knock. in the Rangers third, Andrew. and that'll bring up the shortstop, Andrew. Elvis Andrews. First pitch on its way. Cold strike on the corner. Good changeup that time. There's a cold strike on a changeup. Not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. On the ground to the right side. Rizzo is there. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning. Is and that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Last pitch was a fastball. Oh, tries to hard. double up with the same double piece of cheese, and it gets turned Fire. around. Nice piece Four. of hitting. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right there for strike one. Now a breaking ball no, runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch he is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Hey this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging he's got aggressive things on his mind. Count still at one and two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Okay. Digging in, Chris Bryant. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. 
you might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. Guzman camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. The first baseman, number 44. Anthony Rizzo Anthony stands Rizzo. in now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set and the pitch. Nope. Oh. A fastball here as he'll take a oh, look oh, at no, ball no. 1. 1 and 0. In his career, Rizzo is quickly approaching 200 career homers, looking to inch closer here. 1 and 1, the count to the Cubs' first baseman. Half the runner at first with two gone. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside. Into the box now. Logan Forsythe hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Lester's 2 0 home. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he now really back. seems the to have his lineup off balance. Even when he challenges two. them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. Gone! He finds the short porch for a home run. Here's Joey Gallo now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike Joey. one. 0 for 1 for him here Yellow. in this one. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. 0 2 now from Lester. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Into the box now. now Hunter Pence. Right he looked to bounce back Hunter. after striking out his last time up. Hard hit ball to second. Zobris has it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Madden. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Swung on and missed. One and two now. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging in to try it again. Javier Baez fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Digging in now, Ben Zobrist. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lying towards center field. That gets down and the inning continues. Didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning the going. The right fielder. So we're under at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. From the stretch. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number. 
also coming to the plate, Danny Santana. So far, 0 for Rangers. 1 with a fly out. The center fielder, Danny. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. The next 0-2. Hit on the ground out to short. And that is two into left, and an 0-2 mistake here results in a leadoff single. Around second now and headed for third. Now a long throw to third, and he'll get in there safely. And that's the chance now you that. take when you lay out for Number a ball 21. like that. You make the play, and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it, and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Big no swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect. But if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. The 0-2 once more. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So a runner at third now here with one gun, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Snap throw from the catcher. Here's the 0-1 pitch, and he fouls this one off. Santana stands at third with one gun in the inning. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Jose now Trevino. Back. Runner in scoring it. position with two gone. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. One and two to the Rangers catcher. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher, so a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One now it'll be the Cubs' D.H., Nicholas Castellanos. He'll start things out in the sixth.